Uh, it was good. Uh, we knew yesterday that we were going to play together. And to be honest, I was pretty pumped, pumped to play with that guy right beside me. Uh, obviously, he's a, a, an unbelievable player and uh, just was happy to play with him. And our centerman today, Phil, was, uh, was unreal too. So uh, for me, I'm just trying to make sp space for them and make plays. And I think tonight uh, we skated well and just uh, had a good game overall. When you when you guys scored that early, like what did, this is the first time you guys, the three of you, have played together. So what did it do for you guys to get that early goal? I mean, for sure, it gave us like confidence. Like you score on the, I think it was our first first or second shift. So uh, for sure, it gives us confidence. And I think in the first, uh, we were really good. And uh, the rest of the game too. Just I think we're three guys that can play with the puck and. Uh, when we use our speed, I think we're dangerous, and that's what we did tonight. Alexi, were you screaming for that puck on that, on that goal? Yeah, yeah. I, I knew he saw me, but uh, just to make sure, I, I called for it. And, uh, you know, obviously, nice play. And, um, you know, I went, went to the net, my stick on the ice, and um, good things happened. So, um, you know, when you play with good players, you just got to, um, you know, get open when they have the puck, and uh, they'll find you. So that's what happened, and um, it was a nice play for sure. So you're, you're the one who got moved when... When uh, gets moved up to play with Nika. how do you take that? I mean, was that <clears throat> was that disappointing to you in some way? Uh, no, uh, I think uh, they're trying different stuff right now. Um, so you know, we have a lot of good players that can play um, anywhere in the lineup. So um, for me, I just come at the rink, and uh, whoever my line mates are, I, I just work hard and um, try to uh, play my best game every night. Does Phil speak French? No. <laughs> We have no. to speak English. <laughs> you, had, you had alluded to the fact that it was different in St. Louis. It was much different here than it was in St. Louis. I'm wondering how you mean that. Are you, is, is it part of that you're getting a chance to play out maybe not just in a, you know, in a, in a support role? You know, I, mean, I mean, for sure, yeah. Like um, When I played junior, I was always an offensive player. And uh, when I came up in pro hockey, um, there's every player has, they all have skills and stuff. So I just tried to bring something else to my game and play physical. But um, my offensive touch was always there, and I think here the coaches are they let me do my stuff more a little bit. And um, I think the confidence of the coach too is is huge for me. And when you have that, it's it's always easier to play for sure. There's something in your mind to what the team is building as they keep finding ways to win these tight games on the road. Gritty, gritty effort tonight. Tonight for me was the toughest game we played so far this season, and uh, everybody battled for ice. Both teams. I thought Nashville was real good. I thought we competed hard, and uh, like I said, I thought it was a gritty, gritty game, and uh, we came out on top. Everybody, we were all talking about the top line before this game, but mm -hmm. the way that the young guys played on the second line, what did you make of them? No, they played real good. I mean, made some real nice plays. Uh, obviously got a big couple of big goals. So, no, they played, competed, they battled hard. But that was our team tonight. I mean, Nashville came out and they played an aggressive game and uh, we responded real good. I liked the game. It was a battle both. We talked about it after the second period. The team that was going to, you know, put more pucks to the net and win more of those uh, board battles is going to win the hockey game. And pretty much that's what happened. We had a real good third period and took control of that game. I imagine you liked the way you were able to um, play and protect the lead. Yeah. Yeah, no, that was huge. I mean, uh, you know, in Toronto, we talked about that game and uh, we were pretty loose. And I thought tonight we really shut it down in the third period when we got the lead 2 1. You know, I, I, I'm not big at looking at the stats, but I think they had one or two shots, you know, when we, when we took the lead there in the last 10 minutes. So, com complete effort and everybody was a part of it. Do you think there was much of a letdown? No, you know what? It's. I just hope they don't get frustrated because when we watch it and they hit the crossbar twice and they have good plays, you know what I mean? It, like some of the power play, they had trouble getting in the zone and they, and they had a couple of bad setups. But I mean, every time I look at it, and you know, it's a bandage that hits two posts in the crossbar, they're getting their chances. And if it wasn't for that, I'd be disappointed. But I like what they're doing, moving the puck. I mean, I know it's 10% or whatever it is, but if we can go back and we can check every game in the power play, and, there, and there's, it's got to go in the back of that sooner or later. So if it's not happening, you know, I'm disappointed and frustrated. But I think the way they're moving it and making their plays, it's going to come. And we got, we got away with it so far, you know what I mean? We're winning games without it right now because it's not scoring, but I like what I'm seeing. You like Nemeth for the last uh, six, eight minutes? Yeah, he was great. He's big and strong, and he really cleans the front of that net out, and he makes strong plays with the puck, so 
I, again, I was really proud of our group, the way we battled hard and got pucks out. And, you know, it was a gritty effort. I mean, chipping those pucks off the boards. And, you know, sometimes that cute team doesn't do that. And I like the way we battled tonight. You, you, you talk about grit, but again, Ray makes the artful, I mean, pretty, you know, pretty skilled yeah. pass across. And we've talked about, about him and, and maybe his talent. Mm -hmm. um, the more you see of him, what do you see from do you see him as a guy who yeah. has, a, has a, you know, an upside that's yet to be tapped? I've definitely. Like, I mean, he's played in the league for a while. He's mostly been a fourth-line guy in St. Louis, a little bit up in the third line. And he's one of those guys that got real good hands, as we see, and he's a big power forward. So I think he, the more he plays with us, the more confidence he's getting. He's getting an opportunity and, you know, playing second power play. So I think the kid's excited, and he's getting an opportunity, and he, he's pretty happy right now. Nice to not have to... Yeah, no, it was it was more of a complete team game. As a coach, that's what you like to see. You like to see a game like tonight, and uh, your goalie was really good. But uh, you know, he didn't have to be all world for us tonight. And uh, I liked, the, I really liked our team game. Do, do you see anything from Alexi with his ability to come through? I mean, two out of the last three games, he's had the winning goal for you. Do, do you feel like? Even though he's so young, he's pretty calm in those moments. He's gaining confidence. He's a young player that's gaining confidence. And like I said, when you're the first overall pick, you're, you're a pretty talented and skilled player. And uh, I like the way he's working hard and competing hard and finishes them check. That's what I like because I know he's going to score when he gets his opportunities. We've seen that, you know, from the time he was a young boy. But what he's doing now, he's playing a complete game, and that's what we like about him.